Another day, another adventure in HVAC land on this building and every single rooftop unit is having some sort of issues. This one right here seems to be having static pressure issues and when I've got something figured out I'll bring you back. Okay so what I found on this unit they actually have a pretty nice little uh, whatever you want to call it a little troubleshooting here and I'll show you. And what I was finding the RTRM board is flashing two lights. It may be difficult to read, the sun is bright, but it says to check DC volts between six and eight, that's cooling, and six and 10, six is your common. So I have my meter set to DC. six and eight now it's going to be backwards because i don't have them hooked up right but you can see the voltage is going all over the place that is what flashing means so i go six to ten and it's all over the place now there was another one on there for high duck static trip you would read six to seven seven is your heat And I have no voltage there, so that tells me that I am having a static pressure issue and it's telling me it's the transducer. Well, right here, this is the RTAM board. This is basically the control. You can see there's static pressure set points, supply air heating set points, morning warm up, reset, supply air temp discharge air temps, you know, the whole nine. And up here in this top corner, this is your static pressure transducer. And if I take a reading, You can see it's 3.7 volts. Now this is a five volt output. So that's, doesn't seem right, huh? Okay. I just removed it. And if we touch the bottom and the top pins, which is hard to do with these little needles. Bam five volts now obviously the other terminal which is your uh, input slash feedback that's not going to read with it unplugged so now I have to get in there and check the actual transducer I do suspect that it uh, is the problem but I need to confirm it and make sure that it is not in the wiring somewhere so I'll bring you back for that this is the blower section. That right there with the three wires is your static pressure transducer. I'm going to check that now. All right, so I disconnected the red wire from the transducer and I'm literally just measuring the voltage coming from the RTAM board. Tied on with green, which is your common, and red, which is your uh, output voltage so you can see I got good voltage now 
I'm going to touch the red wire to the five volts coming from the RTAM. And you can see what happens. It is dragging down the voltage, which means that that transducer is the problem. Just a nice little quick, easy check. Didn't take very long. And we got to the bottom of the issue. So now I am on common and the black feedback wire from the transducer. I had five volts going out, but you could see I have no voltage coming back. That is uh, millivolts, not even one volt DC. So now I'm working on a different unit. There's the one I uh, just worked on before. Just to show you here, this is a, another RTU, same exact kind of Voyager 3. And here is, again, the static pressure. The bottom wire is your common, which is the green wire on the transducer. Got a bunch of crap on my lead. Wow, that's fantastic. And the top wire here is your output voltage going to the transducer. And you can see we have a healthy five volts. And this one, if I go back to the middle one, which is your feedback, and it is a pain in the butt to get these in here. Stick that in there. And wouldn't you know it, 1.5 volts. So you can see that that is a nice, quick, little, easy check to confirm your static pressure transducer, at least on a train unit. This has all the same things, RTRM, RTOM, options module, and then RTAM, which I don't know what the A means, but you can see from all the pots on, on the board that this is, uh, this is the main control right here. This is where all the magic happens. Just another day here in Austin, Texas. Working on the final RTU, it's just a smaller Voyager. This one is having a air, outside air temperature sensor issue. The discharge air temperature sensor is reading, but mm, doesn't seem to be accurate. And the static pressure transducer which is the same as that other one but this one is mounted here and wires directly in I checked the tubing the tubing runs all the way through this is where the controls and the electric heat are and we get to the blower this is the blower section and the return sections here and the tubing goes down into the space. 